Spurs fan. Good evening, GJ. How you doing, Jason? How you doing, Perry? You Hello, right? GJ. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, uh, better after yesterday's result. Yeah. Do Just you know calm what? everybody down a bit. The, the, I, I, th- I thought, thought Spurs looked stodgy in the opening exchanges. Then then once they got the goal, I thought you looked quite comfortable after that. Yeah, I mean, we're basically a confidence team because, um, as you said, we, we were stodgy for the first half an hour. Mm. But, I mean, you, you look at Chelsea, right? And this really hurts me saying this, but I'm actually jealous of <laughs> Chelsea under Tuchel, right? I mean, your performance against Atletico Madrid was one of the best performances I've seen by a British team in Europe for ages because that is everything I want in my football team. You were strong. You were aggressive. You were powerful. Um, you bullied Atletico Madrid, and they're no mugs. They knocked out a prime Liverpool team in the Champions League last season. And uh, and Golo Kante, I mean, I think he broke his own record for a number of interceptions. This guy, for me, is the best he's defensive midfielder. Yeah. In, yeah, he's the he's best defensive midfielder in the Premier League ever, and I'm including Roy Keane. Did you, you know what he's done, Tuchel, with... Kante, when Frank Lampard kept going 4 3 3, 4 3 3, and you look very weak in the middle of it, even when Kante's playing on the right of the three, wasn't he? You're playing two midfield players now, aren't you? He calls it a double six. Double, he calls him the double six, isn't mm. he? And you think, well, what is he playing? Poker words. But what he means is, when he plays with someone next to him in the middle, whether it's Kovacic or Gino, mm. that means that he can get box to box still and still get back and be that defensive midfielder that uh, GJ is mm. talking about there. That's why. He's just put him in his right position. But it's, but in his in Tuchel's best team, and this is what will be interesting to see what he does against Man City in the semi final. In his best team, the team that he wants to play, Tuchel, Ngala Kante probably doesn't get in. I know that sounds a very odd thing to he will say. He'll get in hundred really? percent. No, 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 but in, in, he will play against Man City. No, well, no, but no, out. yes, it's against. But that's what I'm saying. Against City, it'll be interesting well, you to see best team. But he, uh, his best partnership that he likes right now is Kovacic and Jorginho. Beat against That's the top what, teams, they're not good that, enough defensively. I I, I oh. totally agree with you, but I'd be interested to see how he, will he play goes Kante, without a shadow of a doubt. I think, um, like Angolo Kante, he cost my team Spurs two titles because he Leicester won a one. He was the best player for Leicester in that season, and then he went to Chelsea, and then he basically stopped us winning the title again. Is that when you come third in a two horse race? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But uh, well, let's be honest, we 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 threw the towel in. But, yeah. like I said, what I, was, what I was getting at is you look at the way Chelsea play under Tuchel, and I see I see powerful, hungry team, like, full of leaders. And then you contrast it with Spurs. And, like, even yesterday, but the performances against North, um, and obviously against your mob, and against Zagreb, I see no leaders. There's no organisers. There, there's no alpha males in that dressing room. They're all beta males. Do you know Every as well, though, GJ, if you look, I think there's a team that has bought into Tuchel and his plan for him and he doesn't have any favourites and he's set out the way, obviously, he's remit what he wants and the players believe in him. I still don't think that the players are having uh, Mourinho. I know it was a, a better result yesterday. I didn't think the performance in, in say, the first 2020, Villa were the better mm. side, they said, until mm. Mm. Um, Spurs mm. scored. Well, I think you're always, Spurs are always, you go 1-0 down and you think, that's it, game's done. Mm. Done and dusted. Um, yeah, and thanks very much for the call there. Just just on go back to the circle. He's, he is getting a lot of those decisions right, his team selection. But I have to say, the game at the weekend, yesterday's game against Sheffield United, did you see it? Yeah. Oh, wasn't great. I was there. But even then, like, you can't... <laughs> It was, uh, games, was just, yeah, what you do is you go, that wasn't a great game. No, we won 2 0. You weren't, that, second half, you were poor. Oh, but, shocking. But you still haven't conceded. No. Move on. They, sh- they, they should have scored. McGoldrick had the best chance of the game. It's um, a great time for your team to have an uh, international break as well, isn't it? His, best, his, his worst performances are coming in the FA Cup. Should have been, Barnsley should have beaten us. Sheffield United should have taken the extra time yesterday.